So they're going without him. Wayne Racing, Obey Orders bounced out and led early by length or so from Florsham down on the inside. They're being followed further afield on the outside by Spin Stefani, a length off to the baldy-faced Woodstock on the inner. And La Spruik at the back is the last of the five as they race inside the 600 metres down to the home turn. And Obey Orders, going great guns out in front, raced away to show the way by three lengths. In second spot behind them there was uh, La Spruik. They're being followed back behind those uh, over on the outside by uh, Woodstock. Further afield to Spin Stefani, and of course they left Stone Council behind. Into the straight, Obey Orders got away to show the way by three lengths now. Florsham in second spot, they're being followed by the baldy faced Woodstock. Spin Stefani the outside, and La Spruik is battling away out wide. Halfway down the running though, Obey Orders shows the way. Obey Orders being tackled on the outside now by Woodstock. Woodstock raced up on the outside and took the lead. Florsham's going with it, but Woodstock raced down to score. Woodstock got the money by half a length on Florsham. Obey Orders has run third. Spin Stefani fourth. Fourth, a gap then to La Spruik and Stone Council. He's got to work out these barrier stalls. They left him behind. Victory to Woodstock. Trained by Norm Gardner. He's uh, yet to face the starter. He's a three-year-old. A gelding by Quest for Fame out of a Jan Murray mare, Sienna Storm. And Woodstock has prevailed. It's defeated number one, Florsham, out of the Bernie Howlett stable. Officially third was Obey Orders after leading them up. Just behind those was Spin Stefani from the Joseph Jones stable. And Le Spruik was last over the line. Stand by for more after the second and final of our barrier trials. Melbourne Cup Day here at Thoroughbred Park on Tuesday. I trust we'll see you then.